EDC, which stands for Everyday Carry, refers to a collection of useful items that someone keeps with them so they're prepared for issues that might crop up. As motorcyclists commuting to work or school or just running errands, those problems are fairly easy to define. In my experience, it's usually getting a flat tire or having some nut or bolt rattle loose. Being prepared for those scenarios can mean the difference between a pricey tow and being late for work or a minor inconvenience in getting back on the road in just a few minutes. Today on RevZilla, I'll show you the kit that I carry with me every time I ride so that you can get some ideas for assembling your own. Let's open up the shop manual. This episode of the shop manual is brought to you by Kershaw, my go-to unboxing knife and a tool I carry with me everywhere. Get 25% off your order at kershawknives.com with the code REVZILLA25. The foundation of the motorcyclist EDC is a tool kit. Now, before you go and say, oh, my bike came with one of those, it's under the seat, it probably has everything I need, know that most modern OEM tool kits are a joke. You're gonna wanna start with a quality aftermarket tool kit, like this one that just fell out of the sky. These things are pretty comprehensive, but you should still take the time to make sure it's tailored for your bike. And the way you do that is by spreading the tools out and going over your bike to make sure you have what's needed to address the common things that might rattle loose and sideline you. That includes stuff like your levers and mirrors, handlebar or clip-on bolts, shifter arm, lever pivot, and linkage nuts, as well as your chain guard and license plate hardware, and even the foot peg brackets and exhaust hanger. If you find the kit is lacking something that your bike needs, add it. And don't be shy about including other useful items. I supplemented a metric cruise tools kit with an assortment of spare hardware, extra fuses, some zip ties and safety wire for securing stuff, a razor blade, and nitrile gloves for keeping clean during roadside repairs. Then, there are some less obvious life hack essentials. Like a piece of duct tape on a sheet of wax paper. Great for securing cracked bodywork or a face shield if the pivot busts. And some electrical tape wrapped around the handle of a wrench for temporarily shielding or splicing wires. I also swapped out the pliers for a set of vice grips, which are better for grabbing stuff and can double as an emergency clutch or brake lever. And while most of us have a flashlight in our phone, I've made sure that my kit has this little guy because it's a whole lot easier to hold in my mouth while I'm plugging a tire on the side of the road at night. Speaking of plugging tires, a tire repair kit is the second part of my EDC, and frankly, it's the item that gets the most use. My bikes all run tubeless tires, so I carry standard rope plugs, which work great for larger or irregular holes, as well as a dyna plug kit for cleaner, smaller punctures. I'm all about keeping my EDC compact and carryable, and a lot of generic rope plug kits are pretty bulky. So I've modified my setup to fit into this Krieger cube pouch by cutting down the handles on the reamer and the installer. You can still get good leverage, but they pack down much smaller. Likewise, I carry CO2 cartridges for filling up because they're compact and convenient, but a good old-fashioned bicycle pump is an excellent option as well, since it never runs out of air. Obviously, it's important to carry a plug kit with you whenever you ride, but you also need to know how to use it. So the next time your bike is due for tires, go ahead and run some screws into it and practice plugging the holes when it's not an emergency. That way you'll be familiar with the process and quick with the repair when it happens for real. So there you have it, my motorcyclist EDC. I developed this and refined it over years of riding and it covers a lot of scenarios and packs down into two very small pouches. Of course, you can go bigger and more complex if you want. In fact, I have a much larger kit that I take with me on road trips and adventures. However, for everyday riding, even a kit as small as this can help you out of a lot of trouble.